day to join me for Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide solely non-medical care for our clients of the same quality we'd provide that care for a loved one. We've come out of the holidays, which should be a time of joy and happiness for many families. Unfortunately, though, the holidays can open a can of worms that some families aren't prepared for or equipped to handle after seeing how mom and dad are really doing. Without fail, the winter season brings about colds, flu, pneumonia, and COVID to name a few, causing aging loved ones to be hospitalized. For families visiting during the holidays from out of state, this poses a challenge when making the right decision on help at home. Sometimes families that are in a time crunch like this where they need to return home for other obligations like work, there's less time spent on patient choice when looking for a non-medical agency, home health agency, or hospice agency, and more reliance on discharge planners to make the decision who may be under a larger umbrella and that encourages their staff to refer mainly to their own home care and home health agencies. So how do you avoid that in a short amount of time, often with a lot of moving parts? You can try soaring through the tasks at hand. First is synchronize. Start by getting other family members involved through a family meeting. Thankfully, technology allows us to connect through conference calls or Zoom calls if some family members aren't local. This is when you should start the discussion of what needs to be done for your loved one's care. Next is organize. Assign each family member a task. Who will oversee finances? Who oversees care at home? And is there anyone local that can be the go-between with the hospital or the rehab facility? What can each family member realistically contribute, whether that's time, money, hands-on care? Third, you have analyze. Be ready to recognize that your plan might need to be modified. Assess each family member's skill set. Do you have a finance guru in the family? What about someone in the medical field like a nurse or physician? Is someone well-versed in the legalities of elder law and what's needed as far as advanced directives? And lastly, we have recognize. So emotions may be high depending on the situation. So remember that each family member may be at a different point in accepting the next steps for your loved one's care. Don't discount the feelings of other family members, especially if someone is afraid or uncomfortable providing care for a sick loved one. Even though your loved one is still present, families may be in the grieving process. Allow everyone time to digest the new normal for your loved one while keeping a realistic goal in mind of how much improvement your loved one may show once they return home with support. Remember that it's your choice of which agency provides support at home. Don't be afraid to ask for more than one recommendation in preparation. You should never feel forced to go with a certain organization, especially during such a huge adjustment in some cases. By soaring through your family meeting, you'll be able to make the right choice. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Always Best Care has been providing solely non-medical in-home care since 2009. If you're interested in learning more about our services or our assisted living selection services, please give us a call at 860-533-9343 or you can visit our website at www.abccentralct.com. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram too so that we can show you how better options for senior living are a priority.